Hi there and welcome to what is now episode 19 of our Prison Architect Let's Play series. It looks like everyone's tucked up nicely in bed at the moment, which is lovely. And that room needs to be surrounded by doors and walls and stuff. Let's uh, make the start of a shakedown. Uh, what I may do this episode is, uh, it's 11 o'clock now, it's an hour until we get till 12 o'clock until we can actually build things. Um, I may try and build some cells very quickly. I also want to finish off this workshop, plumb these toilets, and uh, might buy another laundry basket or something like that. So what I may do is uh, do a bit of a time lapse in the first section, and go a day ahead, and then come back and uh, actually have a day of, of repairing things. Um, actually, hmm. tend to do that the other way around. See how much repair bill is. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll see how much repair bill is and see what we can actually afford. Definitely need to power this workshop press though first. So let's get the uh, the old utilities on the go. And some electric cable. And as soon as 12 rolls on, shove that down there and then see what the repair bill is like. Oh! The repair bill's not that bad. We've still got two grand left over. So uh, we can go and build some stuff. Oh. I don't, think, I don't think it's ever come to this before. Uh, so let's plumb these toilets. I've got an idea for these solitary as well as to um, make them a lot smaller. But we can we can leave that out. So, in fact, is there, is there a requirement on the solitary? No, we could actually make all of those solitary rooms like just one block each, essentially. Um, is that a cook? Really not sure what... Okay, fair enough. Um, so we have two grand. Uh, why don't we... 99 repair. Shakedown's still underway. What we could do with doing is... Sheet metal. Oh, we bought some sheet metal. Can we buy some more workshop stuff? Well, let's, uh, let's go and do that um, utilities plumbing stuff first of all. Oh crap, we need to, to use large pipes for that. I think. I don't think the small pipes will reach that far. We could try. No, they won't. Oh yeah, they will. I think they will. We can try that. We're still spending little bits of money here and there on repairs. We're down to 1,500 now. Um, one other thing I did want to buy was another laundry basket. So let's go and shove another laundry basket in there. And potentially another workshop saw. They're a thousand each. So that could be a, a whole thousand gone for us. Hmm. Very tempting. Also kind of want to build some more tables and chairs in the canteen. And I could always move these up. So how many do I need? One, two, three. In fact, let's do that. Let's uh, go and buy. In fact, let's remove object. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So remove all those objects, and then we may be able to buy some more. We're still repairing. And what? So okay. So let's uh, very quickly remove tunnels there and there. Are there any other tunnels? We can't see any others. Oh, there's one. I think that's it. Yeah. That looks like it's all of the tunnels. Okay. So the tunnels are gone. After that, uh, we're going to get those. The workshop press all sorted. Uh, the staff room's fine. Oh, we could do with a sofa chair and a drinks machine in the staff room. Let's just do that very quickly. Objects. Sofa. Or wide sofa. Sofa chair double. I guess that's a wide sofa. And let's shove that down there. And we need a drinks machine. It's 500. That's the last of our money. So let's shove that there in the corner. We've still got $50, $50 left. So we probably won't be able to buy any more tables with that, will we? How much are tables and chairs? $100, $30. We can possibly buy a new bench. But that'll be it. So let's uh, move this along a bit. 
Let's put a bench down there. Bench down there. Bench down there. And then let's put a table down in the middle there. Can't do anything with that yet. And we could actually... Table goes there. Bench, bench, table. Like that. Uh, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Leave it at that for now. I think they need to sort this stuff out. And do we have anyone that's kind of waiting to do anything? I don't know. We need to finish our shakedown, which means we need to unlock this door. Don't be normal. Some guard, come. Come investigate Venning. Make sure he's not up to any no good. Not up to any good for nothing stuff. Hey, why aren't you... Okay. I can't actually see what Venning's needs are. I'll have a look at the needs tab as well. Very shortly. Oh, these phone booths, they're all working again. Oh no! He's being taken back to his cell. Oh no. We've released Venning. Uh oh. And as soon as we release Venning, you can already hear there's people kicking off in the shower. So send them there, send them there. I think they're kicking off in the shower anyway. No, they're not. Wow, well, there's, there's noises. There's people shouting and screaming. There's the drums. The drums of danger. That tell me that someone's doing something they shouldn't be doing. No, I think that they're just... Everyone seems to be okay, actually. The annoying thing is these tables aren't fixed properly. Let's lock that open, because it looks like people are trying to get in and out. Wow, those workmen are... Uh... Oh god, no one can sit down! Uh-oh. Sorry guys, the canteen is midway through refurbishment. Whoops. Um, objects. Bench. There. And there. And there, and there. Table. There. And there. Yeah, we might have accidentally broken that. But once that's uh, once that's sorted, we'll be able to have lots more. One, two, three. I could I could potentially have three more sets of tables and chairs in there. Actually, right. Let's bring the uh, right police over there. Send that one over there. Have that one locked as normal. Why are they screaming so much? Good. Everyone's using the toilets, which are... Are they fully plumbed now? Let's have a quick look at the utilities. Yeah, the plumbing actually works with the toilets. Awesome. I didn't think it would because the uh, the small pipe stretched quite far. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so our laundry room's actually working now. Our staff room's working now. Wow. And the holes in those cells have gone, but that cell has a hole. Can I, um... How much does it cost to get rid of... How much does it cost to get rid of tunnels? 20. And I have 10. I don't have money. Damn it. I was hoping it cost 2 or something, but I think that's a small pipe costs 2. Right, right guard. It's free time, so right police. Oh god. It's free time and they're going towards the phones. Quick, save. Go and stand by the phones, right, please. We know what they're like. Right, let's get some uh, right, please, spread out next to these phones. These two right, please. Let's put you in the middle of the cell blocks. Make sure you're not up to no good. Or no one is up to no good, shall I say? And uh, what's our regime looking like? Oh, he needs to get out. 
Exercise? We'll go and do something. Right, it's work time in uh, about 10 minutes or something? Yep, 10 minutes work time. So let's go and position this guy in the laundry room, this guy in the workshop. And I read somewhere about the... Uh, is there fighting? No. About the work time in the staff room, which is that there are too many places... There may be too many places set to staff only. So if I set everywhere to general population... Then there's a higher chance that people will actually clean things. Right, let's uh, go and man that room as well. Go and man the cleaning cupboard. So now that everywhere's general population, there's a higher chance that people will actually clean places. So we'll have to see first. Doesn't look like they are. Oh, yep, yeah, there they go. They're actually moving somewhere. Hopefully to clean somewhere. And it looks like people are actually working the workshop press and the saw. That's really cool. So we'll keep the right guard in there. Oh yes, these guys are actually cleaning! Look at that! The entrance hall to our prison is... That's looking cleaner now than it ever has before. That's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, they just I just needed to unlock that area. What? Where's this fighting? Oh god. Fighting in the offices. Fighting in the workshop. Fighting in the laundry room. Quickly go towards the offices, guys. We don't want any our warden or anything like that to, to get beaten up. Reposition that right guard in the corner of the workshop. That, that fight was quelled quite well. I think there might be some fighting inside that shower or somewhere. There we go. He's got a fork! Get him! And then when he's injured, yeah, unconscious, and the fork is on the floor. So that's good. There is actually cleaning going on though, which is really good. Let's just have a very quick look at our guards. A couple of our guards are tired, but no one's injured at the moment, which is good. That. Uh oh, fighting in the kitchen. Send in a couple of riot police to sort that out. That's fine. So that that holding cell is looking cleaner than it has in many many days, which is really good. What do you what do you want to go through there for? Do you want to clean more areas? Yes, you do. Okay. There's lots of noise and shouting and stuff, which is a bit worrying, but I think everything's fine. Let's send him over to the infirmary. Open that door. The foreman's office is a cesspit. Let's just check in these places, they're fine. Let's open these doors for everyone. Make sure everyone can get around. Oh, there's a dead person. It's a dead cook! Have I lost a cook? Oh my god, I've lost a cook. I only have three cooks left. Okay, that's a shame. Why is everyone so quiet? Oh, it's yard time. Right, police! To the yard! I can't believe that everyone's... We've lost a cook. Wow. That's upsetting. What's after yard time? Is it more work? Oh, it's free time and then work. Let's just uh, position these guys near the phones. One of our phones is already destroyed. The other phones are alright. So let's put you in the cleaning cupboard, you in the workshop, and you in the laundry room. Oh, nope, there's a bit of a fight there. Oh no, oh, they've broken the phones again. Come on, guys. There's no need for that. Uh oh, right underway. 
quickly get all of the uh, all available units to the yard, please. Thank you. Sorted. There's some fighting going on in the infirmary. Why are you still attacking the door? There we go. Is that Venning? It's fucking Venning. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with Venning. I can't sentence him to solitary, unfortunately. Only my uh, only my actual staff can do that. Right, it's free time at the moment, which is good. Let's uh, check up on some of our officers, or not some of our guards. Send him to the infirmary. Send him to the infirmary. And the other two are just tired, that's fine. So let's get some of our right guards spread out again. Laundry, workshop, cleaning, uh, kitchen, and holding cell. Oh, I've got quite a lot of stuff. The uh, wow, that's, these some of these rooms are looking ridiculously clean. I'm not used to this, but it's all good. Looks like we've got about. 30, 46 license plates all done. 47 license plates. Which is really cool. So we might make a little bit of extra money from those license plates there. And no one's cleaning at the moment. I don't think I've got quite enough prisoners to uh, to do the cleaning. Wow, that kitchen's looking so good. Oh, there we go. They're, they're actually cleaning again. We may have a clean prison by the end of this episode. <laughs> we may not do. We don't know yet. It's just, they're just the cleaning. Cleaning. This is amazing. Alright, you can go out. You can go through there. These guys are working. Finish cleaning the accountant's office. I think we only need one of you. Now clean the foreman's office and the psychologist's office. I think I can hear some destruction in the canteen. Possibly. Yes, there is destruction in the canteen. Victor Bryan, stop fighting. Uh, right, so you and you and you can go. You open that. Open that again. These rooms are actually getting cleaned, which is really cool. It's just a bit annoying that we're using staff doors for it, so I can't actually open and close them properly. Some small amounts of fighting in the canteen, but nothing that we can't control. You know what, I'm just going to lock these open. Far too, uh, far too complicated to open all the staff doors every time someone wants to clean them, clean the rooms. Yeah, that's better. It means I only have to actually fiddle about with opening this jail door here, which is good. And let's go and position you in the workshop while we're doing now. Oh, we're eating now. Okay. Let's go and position you guys in the canteen. The fact that Riot Police can't open um, can't open staff doors as well is a little bit annoying. But hey ho, so these guys are all eating. Feed all prisoners, 97% done. I still don't have a clue what this red bar means. Um, it's a little bit quiet at the moment, a little bit too quiet maybe. What's next after eating? Two hours of free time and then we go to sleep. So let's very quickly... Um, have a look at our needs of our prisoners. They all seem to need lots of sleep. They need lots of recreation, so we definitely need to add some TVs in the next episode, I think. Which is something that's been suggested to me about four times <laughs> in the comments sections. Uh, so they need some sleep, they need food, 
which they seem to have at the moment. Um, they need hygiene, they need a wash, they need family and they need recreation. The family they get from phone booths, what's the shouting? Nothing I don't think. Fucking Venning, he's in handcuffs again. He must have just started the fight. Bloody Benjamin Venning. Oh, I swear. So on Reddit, there's someone called Benjamin something else. Maybe it's the name Benjamin. It's just, just, I just don't even know. Um, back to the needs. Uh, recreation. So we need some way to do recreation. I'm thinking a few TVs, maybe two or three TVs in the canteen for when they're eating. I can hear violence. It may be coming from the yard. Not sure, maybe coming from in here. Don't know. Let's just move people around a little bit. The prison's looking so much cleaner than it used to, though. We're missing one rat guard. There he is. Let's just shove you in the canteen again. Where's the fight? Where's the fight? The fight's over there. It's fucking venning. As usual. Can we not take him to... There's a bit of a fight in the canteen. There's a bit of a fight down in one of the cell blocks. Guard to the infirmary, please. After you've sorted out Hackett. There we go, now to the infirmary please. Thank you. Go and get yourself healed up. And we have one injured riot policeman. That guy needs food and let's have a quick look at the rest of our guards. Oh god, we've got some really injured guards at the moment. And this one is... Yeah, he's on his way. There's a fair amount of shouting and screaming which worries me, so let's move the riot police into the middle here. Wow, 28 prisoners. I don't think we're going to be able to take those on. Although, we are under capacity at the moment, so maybe 28 would be a good thing. Right, let's move these guys to the infirmary. Is that the chief going for a break? Wow, well, we're looking quite calm at the moment. Looking good. What are these guys doing? Venning's unconscious. Can we lock this door? No, we can't. Damn it. I was hoping that we could lock him unconscious and injured in his cell. And that that would potentially kill him, but unfortunately. We can't lock the door. Ah, uh, that's a shame. So, yeah. Looking pretty good. We've lost a cook, but that can only give us some more money <laughs> in the long run. Um, you need to go to the infirmary, my friend. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, what I think I'll do is I'm going to let this day go on. Do a little bit of building over here and um, see how much money we make and then perhaps time lapse a quick day before the end of the episode so yeah give it another 15 seconds or let's fast forward that a little bit and then slow it right down into a pause oh license plates coming in how much money? Well, we made $600 from license plates. That's cool. So we've got $4,000 now. So let's um, lay out some brick walls. $50 per square. So we can go... That'll be $200. 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 50, 50, 50, 50. We're just going to do half of these cells now, hopefully. Um, although, 
that is always quite difficult because the beds cost so much. So we could we potentially put some beds in these cells? One, two, three, four. Let's do four for now. Toilets. One, two, three, four. And I think we should be able to do some jail doors as well. One, two, three, four. So the only other thing that's left is the utilities, which are here. So let's go and get a large pipe to go to here. It's 375, that's far too much money. One, two, three, four. And can we get some electric cable? How much can we... We can have one set of electric cable. Oh, yes. So that's exactly what we want. Okay, so what I'll do is... Let's do a quick time lapse of an episode. Of a day, sorry. Oh, Venning's there. Quick, lock. Yes! Just in time. And let's do a shakedown. And let's fast forward until the next day and I'll end the episode. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, I think we'll bring the episode to a close here. Um, I brought in a load of normal prisoners. I brought in 27 normal prisoners uh, yesterday, which is, they, I wanted more prisoners to give me more money. But each... No, uh, sorry. I brought in 27 low-risk prisoners. I wanted them to give me more money. But a low-risk prisoner gives you half as much money as a normal-risk prisoner. And I'm having just as many riots as I was before. So, yeah, that didn't work out quite the way I had intended it to. Um, also, we've had lots of riots, lots of fighting. And there's constantly an alarm going off in Vennings. Because, yeah, he's injured and he'll never get cured. Um, but other than that, we got through the day. We, yeah... Lots of people injured, lots of stuff damaged. So I think next episode we'll uh, do another two-day episode. We'll repair everything in the first one and then maybe build some more stuff like some more workshop things in the second one, something like that. But uh, until that time, I will, as ever, say thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.